Hey my beautiful Virgos, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you're all well. I'm here to do a love reading today and it is titled Have I Met My Soulmate Yet? So I'm going to uh, be doing the energies from the Gratitude Oracle Guidebook. Uh, gr sorry, the Gratitude Oracle Deck by Angela Hartfield. And now this is a timeline reading Virgo and um, so it's whenever you come to the channel. Whenever you're drawn to this channel, it's when you're meant to hear it. So, okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we've got the energies here of expression. So this, um, to me, it feels like someone's expressing their feelings. They're not grounded, though. They're, they're not on the ground. Definitely... Um, Someone who's been feeling a little bit flighty. There is a lot of uh, purple in this card. So it is spiritual type of energy to me. Um, so it, number 14 here with expression breaks down all five. So this is something that um, is of a spiritual nature. It is definitely something that you need to be patient with. Something that's solid but that's growing. So... Whether a love relationship, we'll see how we go. Now from the um, Enchanted Animal Oracle cards, we'll see what we've got for you. So definitely there's a, some need of expression here. Let's see. What do you have four? How that goes, please, Spirit. Thank you. So just bear with me for a moment. Just Okay, so we've got the butterfly. So there's definitely some transformation taking place here. It is to do with um, your heart. You're opening your heart. It's beautiful uh, butterflies which represent transformation. And um, it's also about healing as well there. So let's see what the universe has for you. We delve into that a little bit more. So there's a need for you to find the willpower to succeed. So I'm not quite knowing what that's about yet. We'll see how it unfolds. Definitely expressing yourself and making some changes in your life. Now you've got transformation is taking place exactly like the butterfly here. So maybe this is you expressing yourself now. You've just come out of the cocoon and now you're a beautiful butterfly. Let's see. Oh, that flipped right over. Oracle of good things to come. So you're finding the willpower to get through something here, Virgo. And once you do that, good things are going to come to you. So let's see what the Lenormand cards have for you. Okay, I feel like this is all around uh, the new moon in Libra on the 6th, perhaps. There's still something um, hidden there, which is in a couple of days, depending where you live in the world. It could be um, a Cancerian person. It's definitely about your emotions here. Now, this is um, the bear, which is something that's bold and strong, someone that's... Um, if it's a person, it's definitely uh, someone that's nurturing. Maybe a little bit too controlling of you. Or this could be you just having the power and strength to get through these changes that you were making. Let's see. Okay. Now we've got the key, which is something that's significant. It represents your destiny. Paying attention to what's hidden. Just put these up here. So, you know, you, you're having the courage and strength, finding that strength to get through. And it's to do with your emotions, expressing your emotions. Now, this is something that you need to pay attention to. It's what's needed. It's what's wanted. And we've also got the garden here which is representing um, someone who's uh, popular, someone in the public eye. I'll just put that here. And we've got the faith card, 
here or there's someone that's been controlling and it's been a lot of burdens on you and we've got the fish so we it represents uh, a Gemini so we've got Cancer and Gemini in this reading Virgo on the bottom of the deck we have the book so definitely something still to be revealed there's secrets here now this could represent a Piscean as well take it in your situation now um, there's definitely something about you going with the flow being alert about money and your assets maybe this is someone that um, was taking you for your money in the past but you're definitely going through some changes now you've succeeded in these changes and now you're going to be rewarded with something from spirit so let me just read a little bit about expression as i said it narrows down to a five as well Not having much luck with your readings today, Virgo. On the third time I've tried this reading. So we have here beautiful fairy dancing over a field of dandelions that are going to seed. Beneath her is a spider web. The spider web can refer to creative expression. Now dandelions have many medicinal properties. The deep green colour may have connection to your heart chakra or deep healing that's taking place in your life. Now the various shades of blue can be related to the calm and highlight something of significance in your life. Exactly like the key here. It's definitely something important that's taking place in your life. So let's see what the butterfly is now the butterfly's got red and blues and greens in it purple so let's see now the red is connected to your base chakra let's see if I can bring that forward without ruining this reading again okay so it is about uniting a mind body and soul and the power here with the bear is to stay grounded. And that's what I was feeling with uh, the expression card, with the fairies. They're not on the ground. So the strength of, of this card is about family, your identity, you bonding with somebody, loyalty and being as one with somebody. Now, the blue is definitely um, related to your throat chakra, about speaking your truth. You know, um, also the, the ability to keep to your word, self-knowledge and faith. Now, just let me find the um, butterfly here. Won't be a second. There we go, 63. Bear with me, Virgo. Okay. Now, this is about change, as I said. And its card is related to the moon. So I feel like a lot of uh, energies are happening around that moon. So you may want to go back and read that, as I said. Um, now, the blockages that you've had was a detachment or a disconnection. Maybe under the influence of someone or something. Now you're feeling like you were trapped in a world of illusion, which is definitely the moon here. It's something of an illusion, something that's hidden. The guidance that you were given with this card is that you're headed the wrong way. Your soul is calling you to change your path. Are you, your responses superficial? Are people around you not connecting as you wish? Perhaps there's something or someone you use to escape from your current situation now basically it is time to withdraw and replenish in preparation for your transformation that's taking place if you are about to start something new 
You need to check everything is in order before you start. Otherwise, have some quiet time to prepare for the next stage in your life. Now, the animal message is come, change with me, from caterpillar to butterfly. We'll break through the barriers in our lives, our minds and our bodies and souls. Even though we must break every part of us to transform, every thought, action and belief system, we emerge transformed. So the affirmation here is to say, the more I change, the more I become myself. So definitely transformation, a big transformation happening for you. But you've got to try and stay grounded here with the expression card. You're floating at the moment. So definitely um, someone may have been, you know, weaving castles in the air or, so to speak, waving illusions in front of you. And it was a burden. They were a bit controlling. And now you've got um, to express yourself and your emotions to like-minded people. I, I feel there is um, someone destined to come into your life. Now, this could be a business person. That's wealthy. I feel this person's hard to get hold of at times, but they're very business orientated, whether it's a male or female. And I feel like this is a Gemini person. But I do have the um, the secret card here. So you haven't met them as yet is what I'm feeling. So let's see. To end this reading, I am going to do a um, ask a question to my oracle book. And it is, have Virgo met their soulmate yet? So let's see. Just bear with me, Virgo. Has Virgo met their soulmate yet? Please, Spirit. Has Virgo met their soulmate yet, please? Okay, so we've got the magnet, just give me a second. Okay. Now, okay, like I thought, you haven't met them yet. Definitely um, a businessman coming in for you and you're going to be together soon here Virgo so definitely um, I'm feeling this person is very wealthy who's coming in but you know make sure you stay grounded and while you're going through these changes mind body and soul because uh, it is a big change and transformation for you but you're going to Merge the other side as yourself. You're going to feel yourself again without having someone controlling your life, controlling your money, putting burdens on you. So if this resonated or part thereof, guys, um, and you've got a couple of questions, I'm happy to answer them for free. Please email me in my uh, emails in the description box below. I'm also doing private readings this month if you want a personal reading based on your energies. Uh, email me and I'll give you all the details. Thank you for stopping by. Love to you all. Appreciate it. Bye for now.